Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the shortlist in the IMO 2019. It says, find all functions f that maps the set of natural numbers to itself, such that for all natural numbers a, b, with a plus b greater than 2019, we have a plus f of b divides a squared plus b times f of a. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a problem about divisibility and functions. And for functions, we can put any number we want. So to um, create many kinds of um, relations, okay? Usually equations, but in this case, we only have divisibilities. And if we have divisibility, then the first thing that I would do is to um, consider some expressions that refers to some numbers dividing uh, a prime, okay? Not a prime dividing some number, or some number divisible by some primes, but a prime divisible by some other number, because this is the way to, um, to uh, minimize the number of possibilities that uh, we could ever have. So I'm going to consider this expression, this part, a squared plus b times f of a, and I want to make some primes from this. And the way I'm going to do this is to make use of the Dirichlet's theorem. It says, so that's Dirichlet's. It says for a, b that are co-prime, there are infinitely many primes of the form, just of the form, a n plus b, okay? Or I can say infinitely many primes uh, that are congruent to b mod a. So I'm going to make use of um, f of 1 and 1. And clearly they are co-prime because you are um, um, considering 1 inside within the two numbers. So this must be co-prime and so by this rate, There are infinitely many primes of the form 1 plus n times f of 1. Okay, and I'm going to match this with the form a squared plus b times f of a. So obviously, we are going to put a equals 1 and b equals n. Then we will have 1 plus f of n divides divides 1 plus n times f of 1. Of course, I have to say that um, choose n large enough such that 1 plus n is larger than 2019, which is possible, of course, and 1 plus n times f of 1 is prime. And this exists by Dirichlet's theorem. So because this is prime, so we know that 1 plus f of n is either 1 or 1 plus n times f of 1. But 1 plus f of n surely cannot be 1 because f of n is positive. So we must have this. So f of n equals n times f of 1, okay? And this holds for all, for some la uh, n that is large enough. Now, when I reach this point, I start to think, well, um, what f of x can actually be? So this motivates me to um, guess that maybe f of x is simply some constant time x. Okay, some constant. And in fact, if you put this back into this um, divisibility relation, it would actually work.
say if I if f, if f of b is uh, lambda b, then uh, a squared plus b times f of a is just a squared plus uh, lambda b a, and this is a plus lambda b, so it was uh, really work. But now we have to show that uh, this relate this equation actually holds for all n, not just some n that is large enough. Now I'm going to put. Uh, I'm now I'm going to fix a and put uh, some n that is large enough into b. I can say. Uh, let me rewrite this. I can say a plus f of n divides a squared plus n times f of a. And the left hand side is actually equal to, can also be rewritten as a plus n times f of 1 divides a squared plus n times f of a. And if I further multiply uh, the dividend, it would uh, this would divide a squared times f of one plus n f of a f of one. So this a plus n times f of one divides a squared times f of one. Actually, the expression above minus f of a times the divisor. So we cancel out this and this term, and we will have a plus n times f of 1, dividing a times a f of 1 minus f of a. Now, because this n is, uh, we've chosen this to be large enough, very, very large, then of course this has to be zero. We don't have any choice, but this has to be zero because the divisor can be as large as, uh, can be any large number. So this number is also zero. Okay, we know that a is not zero. So f of a equals a times f of one. And because this a is fixed and no other, any other constraint, no constraint on a, So basically, that means f of x equals f of 1 times x holds for all x. That is belonging to this set. Okay, and so that's the, um, uh, that's the function. And of course, we have to check. a squared plus f of b is a squared plus b f of 1. And sorry, a plus f of b should be the divisor. Now, and the dividend is then a squared plus b times f of a is a squared plus a b f of one, and this is a times the divisor. So, yes, that's true, and yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.